everybody, this is Randy Santel. Atlas and I am very, very excited tonight. I'm going for overall victory number 1,177 and victory number two here in the amazing country of Singapore. This is my third time in Singapore. Always great to be here. We are in the Boat Key area, which is just a couple minutes from their Airbnb where Katina and I are staying. But so many restaurants around this area. You gotta come here though at Shrimp Prawn Seafood. They are very well known for their steel pot vermicelli. Now, I'm hoping to become the first person actually to win their Zermatt platter. Now, our friend Zermatt Neo, who we did that chicken satay record challenge with a couple days ago, he actually did this as a mukbang, and the video did so well that they decided to just make it an actual challenge. So, I've got one hour to finish. There's three pounds of vermicelli noodles all on the bottom. We've got so much seafood on top. We've got a whole bunch of scallops, a whole bunch of their tiger prawns. Those look amazing. We've got two crab here, and then two giant river prawns. Over here, we've got a whole bunch of crayfish. I've never really had it as part of an actual food challenge. It's very similar to lobster, but either way, we've got so much food here. I've got a little bit of sauce to dip it all in. Now, the big thing is, is I've got one hour to finish. If I fail, the whole thing with taxes and service fees, and of course, Sir Matt has got to get his royalties. It's around 340 Singaporean dollars, 255 US dollars. So if I am able to finish, I'm going to get the entire meal free. No t-shirt, but I will be the first person to actually win the challenge and get up on the wall of fame. Let's get this challenge started. All right, there's a lot of cracking to do, so we gotta shut up and eat. Big thank you to the owner, Alvin, and his team. Everybody here with Shrimp Prawn Seafood. I'm excited, let's dig in. One, two, three, boom. All right, let's get started with some prawns. And then I do have to get all these, so we will see. Thankful I have an hour. Oh yeah, that is good. All right, so these look daunting, but this is actually hollow. And I'll still try to get what I can out of it. I'm gonna finish over here with all the prongs. Zermatt made this look very good in his video. To watch that, it's down in the description. Scallops. And we are right on the water, but none of this seafood I don't think is from the Singapore River. Seafood sauce is uh, spicy. These scallops are good. I'm gonna have some more, and then we're gonna move on to some crayfish. Before that, let's do this. This looks really good. I'm trying to eat as much as I can all in one piece. And of course, big thanks to Food League Singapore for getting this set up. If you never had crayfish, it's freaking good. That's not Tiger, it's Carlsberg. It's not Bintang either. We were just told it's supposed to be Bintang, the uh, official beer of Indonesia. That is very good. I'm excited for the noodles. I've been instructed to just eat the middle. Alvin, the owner, he started this restaurant in like 2020, I think, during COVID. During the first two years, he flew to Thailand 13 times to make sure that he had the recipe right. Am I doing this right? I really don't know what these crabs are, but it's very good. Oh, monk crab, okay. Keep in mind this platter is meant for eight people. I really don't know what all I'm eating today, but it is very good. Giant river prawn. I'm gonna see what's in this one. Ah. Ooh. Oh no, there's plenty of meat in here. All right, we're 15 minutes in. We got 45 to go. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done one of these. It's a lot easier when somebody else has cracked it. Sir Matt's next to me and I'm just trying to make him proud. I'm working on more crab. 
We do have clams uh, here. I'm gonna have some of those as well. Some of these clams are big. I'm gonna pretty this thing up a little bit. All right, we got 40 minutes to go. All right, let's get this mamma jamma out of here. Giant river prawn. Number two, pretty much just eat this. Let's dip it in the sauce. Some more of that river prawn from a river somewhere nearby. Let's work on some more of the crayfish. This would be a lot more fun if I had friends to share it with, but it's expensive that way. The owner's worried about me, Alvin, so I better hurry up. We're getting there. All right, we just hit 30 minutes, 30 minutes to go. The forehead wipe, we got the assist. These clams are yummy, but they are annoying as hell. Last of the tiger prawns. Not eating shellfish for at least three weeks. I've been trying to get every piece of meat I can. I think we're gonna get it, we got time. All right, I'm gonna try to eat all of the clam. Their famous steel pot vermicilli. We're only 40 and a half minutes in, we got a lot of time. It does slide right down, I'm just trying to avoid eating a uh, shell. This is my own fault. I'm not killed with eating this type of food. If you know what you're doing, it's probably not that hard. Oh, okay. 87% confident I've got this. It's been a stressful ride. Alvin and his team have done a great job. Let's get them their first actual food challenge winner. I gave all I had on the chicken satay challenge. I'm, I, I was broken after that one. I'm not the stallion I once was. But as Toby Keith says, I'm as good once as I ever was. Come here to shrimp, prawn, seafood, eat like 90% of it and let your friends finish the rest. This was delicious, last bite.
unlike the last chicken sauté record challenge, this one was a hot and sweaty one, even with fans. I had to work really hard for that one, and I am done eating seafood for quite a while, but I will say that I am happy that the meal that has me good for a while was that one, because that was so good. Loved that Zermatt Neo steel pot vermicelli seafood platter. All my favorite parts were the ones I didn't have to crack myself. Scallops were great. I didn't have to do much work for the crayfish. That was awesome. Even the crab was good too. It was just frustrating to get it all out. But yeah, oh, my official time, 57 minutes and 20 seconds. I don't think I made that entire platter appetizing. I did my best, but either way, even if you don't want to try this platter in particular, they've got other smaller platters for smaller groups, and they've got so much other stuff, so much deliciousness on the menu. Everything is great here. I've been watching other people eat their food. It all looks amazing. It is time to celebrate win number two of this trip in Singapore with some beers with my good friends here from Singapore, Food Lake Singapore, and then I am celebrating overall victory number 1,177. Most importantly, I'm celebrating that I got this delicious meal free. No sweet t-shirt, but I will have my name and photo up on the Wall of Fame here at Shrimp Prawn Seafood. Pretty much get different awards each year, and they've only been open for like three years now, so definitely worth getting to here in the Boat Key area. There are gonna be two more challenges coming up, a Korean noodle challenge will be next. But yes, another great win in Singapore. Big thank you to Alvin and his staff. If you like this video, be sure to watch either this one or this one. Both of these are also from Singapore. I know you'll like those as well, very similar. But either way, I'll catch you in the next video. Win before you begin. Thanks for watching.